fishing, just fishing, fishing, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks. Here we go, guys. Jonathan, my boat neighbor with a 34 CV. Oh boy, that's awesome. <laughs> Ron Rick's boat, there's Skinner. Good options. There's Rick. Hi, Rick. Yeah, he's smiling, he's got a new haircut. Beautiful day. Debating between Block and Montauk. I'm voting Montauk. I think I'm gonna get outvoted here, three to one. Oh, they want to Block? They want to go to Block. Yeah. But Skinner's buddy did really well in Montauk yesterday. Yeah, I, know. I don't know why we're running 45 miles instead of 30 miles, but yeah. I ain't no captain of this boat. So we'll see how we do. All right, here we go, guys. And as you heard in that intro, a Block Island run with Rick Skinner and our friend Jonathan on Rick's beautiful 32-foot Metal Shark Fearless center console. And oh boy, was I wrong saying we should be going to Montauk. The decision was made by Rick and Skinner to go to Block. And boy, were we rewarded. And uh, the, the thing that stands out for me on this trip is the comparison between the bucktail and the chicken rig. And those of you that don't know chicken rig, a weight with two teasers. Uh, almost all the fish were on the teasers. Skinner and I are only using bucktails and teasers. Rick switched to a chicken rig. It worked out great for him. Jonathan was switching back and forth. Highlight of the trip, right at the end, Skinner with a double digit after we limited, safely released. We'll see all that. Hope you enjoy. We'll start the action with the very first drift. Skinner hooks into a really nice keeper, and that was the, the story of the day. The quality of these fish was amazing. Put them in the live well, bleed them. Yeah. All right, he's bled with my fingers. Push that to take it. Yeah, yeah, of course. You don't feel like uh, that's a fluke. I got the net. I'm up. This is my game plan the other day. I got the net, Skinner. I can't believe it. I just had to get it from up top. Rick, why is this net so small? Do you need to... It, it extends. No, I mean... Oh, <laughs> yeah. That was a nice fish. This is a good one. Okay. Ow! <laughs> why would you do that? Oh my god, he slammed his thing in my friggin' knee. Oh, it's a nice fish, man. Ready? Whoa. Oh, oh snap, fish. you almost swam him over. Wow. Nice fish. Dom, what were you wow. saying this morning? Yeah. Oh, be quiet, you. Yeah. Good job. Oh, you want to go to Frisbee's? And for those of you that don't know, Frisbee's is a popular area in Montauk, and I was going to hear the Montauk versus Block comparison all day. Next drift, same area, I hook into one. Right. Was yeah. it crowded the other day? No. Started off, I was the only boat, and then all of a sudden... What is it, two or three of us? And then, what is it? Probably six or seven. Oh, Ooh, I saw that. Oh, God. That might be a CBS. You know, at the bottom, you don't want to wait because then yep. you get caught up. Yep. You kind of like got to swing. There we go. John's on. Fluke. What are you using that such a noodle for? It's not a noodle. Oh. You need that? Yeah. yeah let me, uh, no, Rick's up. Yep. Oh. Yeah, so what do you want me to do about it? Get the net. Ah, oh, son sorry. of a. He stepped on my foot. Sorry. I didn't realize that you didn't have any shoes on. <laughs> He's barefoot? No. No. He's still stepping on my foot. Oh, sorry. It's a good fish. Yeah. Really good fish. Really good fish, dude. Oh, beautiful. Whoa. That's a nice fish here. Yep. <laughs> and it popped right out again. Does John know his stuff or what? Uh, 
frustrated the shit out of me. Yo. Came back, John. Nice. That's a good fish, too. Uh, coming with the net, Skinner. You want me to get him? No, I got him. I'll get it on film that way, too. He needs content. He needs all the help he can. Whoa, wait, wait, hold on. Oh, I just got hit. All right, Skinner, I'm coming now. I'm going to reel up a few times. Yeah. All right, Skinner, stop it. Uh, maybe put some toenail polish on your feet. Let's put let's let's net this uh, 12 inch fish. Yeah, there we go. No, it's a keeper. Thank you. It's the fight. You're fighting the current too. I chuck my gulp too because I got hit right when he got hit. There you go. Oh, Rick's on. Oh, and you got him on the. Oh, that's a good oh, fish. On the you got rig. Skinner. You got the net. Whoa, uh oh, monster! Oh, wow. oh on the boy, chicken rig. on the chicken rig. See, that's what Sean caught him on. <laughs> I'm going for that now. <laughs> <laughs> He's happy now. I, yeah. I, I'm upset. I missed the, I missed the Rick set. That's what I care about. Beautiful. They're liking that top piece. Yeah, it's nice. looks good. There we go. Right Decent on. fish. There you go, Rick. Good job, Ricky boy. Salmon. Salmon's the color. And yeah, that was the first of six keepers for Rick, all on the chicken rig, something he typically doesn't use. Uh, most of the fish Skinner and I caught with the bucktail teaser setup were on the teaser. Clearly, the fish preferred something a little higher in the water column. That's the beauty of the chicken rig. When they are feeding higher, you have two hooks with bait above the water column. You're going to see Rick hook into another nice one right here. Five. But I have 10 pound test on this. Oh, Ooh, that's oh, a fish, yeah. Ricky. Chicken rig. Again. Oh. I got, I got him. Nice, Rick. That's a big one. That is a good one. That was hot. I, I was telling you guys we should be using chicken rigs and nobody wanted to listen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nobody listens to Halkius. To the I don't I, know. Look, I, I remember about, I don't know, ten, fish. 10 years ago, I told Skinner to think about a swing hook bucktail, and he didn't listen. And that, that was how you convinced me to use bucktails. Oh, I remember it's that. Spearing, right? Yeah. Okay. The May 18, 2017. Oh, keep moving. Just keep moving. oh wow, Rick. All right, that's the big one of the day. No drama netting. Whoa. Hey, Ricky boy. Yeah, baby. Wow. Wow. Another keeper, hey, maybe. I'm up, I'm up. I don't think it's a keeper. He's got him. John's up. I'm up. Just to go to show you that the Rick set catches all the fish. Well, I won't forget what you did to me when I was fighting my fish. So, let's see what we can do here. What, what, what I do? Now, I would never do that to you. <laughs> yeah, where's your foot? Let me <laughs> kick you and step on you. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is, this is sabotage right oh, here. Right. Oh, this is such oh, a big boy. fish. I don't think there's ever been I don't one think we need a net. Nice. 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 Look at this. It's not a keeper. Oh, my God. That's Wait a that doormat. Girl. It's a baby Wait fish. Go, that's a doormat. <laughs> it's a nice fish. <laughs> Holy cow. All right. So, <laughs> nice work. Nice. Wow. Nice, Rick. High nice. Hook. High hook, Rick. High low chicken rig. Chicken rig, I tell you, I always said the chicken rig does best. And, and um, you know what, it's, it's John is help us. as soon as you get that fish out of the net, let's go back up. And you heard Skinner there, no nonsense, let's go back up. We were catching all those fish in a little, maybe 100 yard area. We, we had a buoy in the water as a marker. Once we got past that buoy, uh, it was a lot of structure, but we were snagging and losing rigs, not catching fish. So our... Our plan was to short drift as much as we could, and it was literally a fish or two each drift and then reset. There he is, came back. Mm. 
right? It feels okay. It's not not as big as the first one, I don't think, but it should pass. No, Skinner, stay net. down. You want me to net him? I'll net him. You know what? If you just bring the yeah, net here, I'll net him. No, I'll net it's him. not. I, stay I down. You need bottom shit. time. I'm filming shit, so I don't know what you're... It, it's not that great. Yeah, but still, you, you know, need the... bottom time. No, that's good. I got my end. Did you reel up a little? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Jonathan. Absolutely. It's got some good shapes. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it's it's going to pass. Guess what? The 18 and a half inch limit. Pass what? That's a beauty. That's okay. Not that great, but it's definitely a keeper. <laughs> definitely a keeper. Go, go, go. I got it. I got it. I got it. Go, go, go. I got it. I'll get it out. I'll get it out. You fish. Thank you. All right. All right, Jonathan. Great job. And I'm up, baby. That's a fluky turkey. I'm just going to slice this guy and I'm coming with the net. That's a good one. Yeah, I'm coming with the net. Let me just uh, cut this guy. He doesn't need a measure. You just need a little gentle encouragement from your friends. <laughs> and look, right by that buoy again, guys. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Keeper, but not that big. It's yeah, it's definitely a keeper. Okay, hold on. Let's get it out of there. And you heard Skinner say we're halfway there, and he was right. We had, that was our eighth keeper, New York State and Rhode Island, four fish, 18 and a half inches. Uh, that was keeper number eight, and I'm about to bring in keeper number nine on the boat. Beautiful, John. Just caught up to you, Ricky boy. Yeah, he's got a big one, too. Ah, it's okay. See, this rod has a nice parabolic bend, Skinner. Oh. <laughs> you wouldn't understand. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> it's it's okay. It's nothing. It's not gonna win any contests. Hey, it's inedible. Yeah. No, no. I don't feel the weight. It's just you know I was scoped out so far too. Usually scoped, they they glide. I, I bet you he's on the teaser again. I think he's pretty good. He's not going to win any contests. I think that's going to be one of the, the, the good ones. Like, like Rick catches. No. Not, he is on the teaser. I told you. It's okay. It's good. It's 23 inches. It's, you know, it's a five. It's, it's not a seven. Thank you, Jonathan. I got it. And the rod I'm using is the VRC Jigging Jerks Casting Model, 7 feet 2 inches, completely made in America, using an American-made blank. I'll have a link in the description to the rod if anyone is interested in purchasing it. And one of us is going to hook up. We have nine or eight? We have nine. Uh, we have nine. <coughs> I am a little ups... Uh-oh. There's a fish. Oh, Rick, That's get the nice net. Fish. That's a good one. Sorry, could you wait a minute? <laughs> He's got a good one. Who's Yeah. That was mighty uh, big of you, Rick, to let let him have a chance at a good one. No, it's not even that big. No, it's good. It's five. Yeah. I thought it was going to be like one of the first two. No, it's a solid fish. Yeah. Yeah, it's better than I thought it was. It's a solid five, no? Or close to it? Yeah, I would say so. Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to No, I think they lay eggs. Not too much uh, gives birth to live sharks. There you go, John. This is a good one. Oh! Whoa! I slacked for a second. Right, we flew cooked on this All right, net. I'll give you yeah, this one needs a net. I got him, John, but I'm going to... Uh, You're going to net him, John? I'm going to crank all the way up, too. All right. Last time I stayed in, it was not good. Over, this one has weight. That one has some girth. I'll keep my tip right behind it. Go ahead. 
Yep, Skinner, I created some room. I'll swim right in. Okay. Great job. Remember, you get them up to the top and you stop reeling. You let them sit for a while. Right. And then we, we No, then you gotta you gotta grab my line. <laughs> oh yeah, we evaluate and then I'll grab the tip of your rod. Right. We'll no, lift them out of the water and let them shake before you next. Oh, this could be good. Nice. Oh, I that's a good one. Slack, everybody. I did. I did. I'm slack. Oh, wait, a minute, wait a minute, Rick. I'm gonna get you free here. Hold on, Skinner. I'll do that. It's just that I think. There it is. Yep. Okay, you're good, Rick. That blue one's got hit in there. Yeah, the blue fuse. Mike Lang, South Shore Tackle. Thank you, Rick. Thank you, Skinner. And that's actually the South Shore Tackle Blue Glow Teaser. I'll include a link in the description to how you can order them from Mike Lang. These are absolutely amazing teasers. Oh, that's that looks good, Rick. I got it, I got it. You fish. Oh boy, I just got tangled. Tangled? No, I got it. I got it free. I got tangled on myself. I got the net. I got the net. I got the net. I'm right here with the net. You, you fit. Not, not none of this cliff. Cliff. Uh, yeah, nice, okay. nice. Wow, you almost pushed me right over. And this little tiny fish you caught. We got untangled, Jonathan. That's probably the biggest fish of the day. Uh, maybe the fifth or sixth biggest. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look how wide he is. It's like one of the ones I caught. He's ready to spit it. There you go, Skinner. Need a net? No, I don't think so. All right. I'm coming up to check my gulp anyway, just in case you do need it. Hmm. Oh, do you need a net? Um, well, I just need you out of the way. So okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, damn it, Skinner. My bucktail got caught in your bag. Hold on, let me bring you the net. It's not a huge keeper, but it's a keeper. All right. Yeah, that's a nice Thanks, I should have told you earlier. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 you're good. I, I was, I forgot you had a fish on, believe it or not. Yeah. <laughs> Right. So what's that now? Uh, two, to go. two to go. Two to go, and now uh, Skinner has a limit. Yeah, we I mean, he's out in the boat every fish. day, that guy. <laughs> yeah, we're sick with four Checking, of us, so we need to He's the guy that shuts down the clamming and, <laughs> you know, all that. That's. You know, oh. oh, okay. Got him. <laughs> yeah, I he's, on the phone. <laughs> he's got a fish on. I'll talk to Joe. All right, go ahead, talk to Joe. Hey, Joe, it's Halkius. He's on a fish. I'm fishing hard. Good, how are you, man? Yeah, that's what we needed, you to call him. We always joke around that when, when he's on the phone, he catches a fish, but he's usually on Instagram. Looks like a decent fish. We've had some quality fish, by the way, here. We, we, we might have four to six fish in that seven pound area, maybe slightly more. He's He's got a decent one on. He's He's got a big one. He's got a good one. He's got one pushing seven. One more to go. Good job, Ricky. That's his fifth, by the way. That's how you know the fishing is good. Hey. So as we reset, I made the remark that, hey, we're going to limit on this drift. And boy, was uh, Skinner and Rick not happy about that. Let's, let's listen into some of it. It's always difficult to get. Skinner, we're going to get it right here. Just chillax. Yeah, we'll do a halkies and go, oh, we haven't been snagging in a long time. How's I think that? it took uh, us uh, an uh, hour to get that last fish yeah. list. The other we are going to get it on this drift. And I would say Jonathan will get it. I hope so. But I, you know, the way Rick's going today, it's more likely he'll get it, but he's not in the water. Hey, look who has him. Yeah. Oh, oh, Skinner. Skinner, who did I jinx? Who did I jinx? I don't think this is it. Are you kidding? Are you kidding that that's not it? Do you want a net? Yeah, he needs a net. All right. 
I'm off the bottom. Just keep an eye on my rod. And Rick's gonna put it away. Rick's gonna put it away. Mine's a short. Take care of Rick. Okay. Whoa. Is yours okay, Rick? I don't know. It could be. Okay. I did say Jonathan or Rick. Now, if, how many fish did you catch today? I have five keepers. And I have. You have let's five. Get that and we can call five it right six. now. Hold on. <laughs> Rick, remember you're not. You, you didn't resolve it, but you got. It. I don't think you got to worry about a 17-inch fish. Uh, nah, it's a keeper. Just measure. It. I will, but it's a keeper. And I did measure the fish, uh, easily over the 18 and a half inch size limit. So we had 16 fish, it's 11.30. We said, uh, you know, hopefully we limit fast, go home. But we said, let's do one or two more drifts and literally on the next drift, this is what Skinner hooks into. Remember how happy he was uh, with the zero? Uh-oh, uh-oh. I'll get the net, I'm not even down. That's a good one. Wow! We can release a smaller one if you want. No, no, we... We already bled it. We bled them. This going back. No, it's okay. It's my biggest fluke still, of the year. We can still uh, let it go. His biggest fluke of the year. I'm here. Once I lose. I know. Let me get out of your way. Oh, shit. Yeah, this is good. Good karma for you. Release it. Yep. Holy shit. That's a 10. That's a 10. That's a 10. <laughs> it? it yeah. might be. Whoa. It, oh, it's definitely a 10. It's definitely a 10. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, weigh him. Yeah, we will. That is definitely. Look at the width. Yeah. Hold on yeah. Dude. Dude. Hey, and guess what? That one fell on the bucktail, on the Cessna Skinner bucktail. Ten and a half pounds, bucktail in the mouth, but easily over ten even with the bucktail. Uh, thank you, Captain Rick, for a great day. Just a lot of laughs, a lot of fun. Hope you, hopefully that came through on this video. We're going to end the video with uh, Skinner releasing the fish. Uh, a little accident trying to release it, but you'll see it went home safely. As always, if you like these videos... Hit that like button, and if you're not already a subscriber and you like content like this, please consider subscribing. Whoa, I didn't want to do it that way. It's okay, he's kicking. Come on, baby. Go! Oh, no! Oh, <laughs>